this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to process multiple images to speed up your workflow. And as with everything in Lightroom, there are lots of different ways to do the same thing or to create the same effect. But I want to show you the four ways that I use most often. I'm going to use the previous sync and auto sync buttons and also show you how to use a preset to copy and paste settings from one photo to another. All right, let's look at the photos that I have to work with today. These are of a male line yawning and I had my camera on burst mode and kept my finger on the shutter button to get multiple frames of the same shot. And this left me with a whole stack of images shot in the same light with small differences between the composition of each photo. So you'll see that just the action of him yawning is different. Now, I'm not sure which one I like best or if I'm going to end up wanting to put a series of three or four together somewhere. So without having to choose my favorites just yet before I've edited, I can edit all of them in the same way and then go and choose which one to keep as the best shot. I'm going to apply a basic edit to the first shot just as you would with your normal editing workflow. So I'm going to start with a quick basic edit just on the, the basics panel on the right hand side. Um, do my usual thing, a little bit of warmth, uh, some contrast, lift up some of the shadows, brighten it up. Bring some white and black saturation in, a little bit of clarity, some vibrance, bring up the sharpness a little, make sure we're nice and sharp here, and then maybe add a little bit of a vignette. So very quick basic edit, and you can see there that's uh, the before and after very quickly. And now I want to go and apply this setting from this original photo that I edited. I don't want to have to go and do that exact same process to all of these photographs down here. I want to make sure that whatever I've done on this one transfers over to the rest. Um, A, to save time on my workflow so that I don't have to spend um, minutes on each photograph. And B, to make sure that if I want to use any of these photographs in sequence or use three or four together, maybe print them and put them up on a wall, um, that they all look similar and they don't look differently edited. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to click from the one that I've edited to one of the other ones that I want to um, affect and I'm going to click the previous button. And what you'll see is that uh, edit has now carried over and copied across to that second photograph. If I want to go and apply all of these, all of the settings to every single one of these photographs, all I'm going to really do is click and hold shift and click the end or the last photograph in the stack. And you'll see what's happened here on the, the where previous uh, used to be is now something called auto sync or if I click that little light, light switch down it's now gone to sync. And what I can do here is I can click the synchronize button and what that's going to do is bring up this dialog box. And in the dialog box you can now choose what it is you want to copy across um, and you can remove certain uh, edits that you don't want to apply to the rest of them. I'm going to keep everything that I've that I've changed because I want them all to look the same and I'm going to click synchronize here and what you'll see is slowly but surely at the bottom here these all the photographs are going to start to change and look like that original photo that I edited so now you'll see all of them have that very kind of similar look and feel to them maybe they'll take a little bit of time to sync up but what should happen is that all of your photographs should look similar um, or similarly edited. The one thing you do need to know about the previous button though is that it's going to take every setting that you've made previously and apply that to the photograph. So let's say for instance I wanted to apply a crop here, I wanted to get it a little more tight in here uh, and then did whatever other things I needed to do. All right and then I took a brush and I went and did a little bit of burning. So just all the way around, make them stand out a little bit. So everything that you that I've applied to this photograph is now going to be applied to the next photograph um, that I go and choose. So for instance, if I want to apply those, those settings to this photograph and I click the previous button, it's going to sync all of the settings that I've made, the crop, all the brushes, um, and everything. So you'll see here, if I hover over here, that that brush stroke is not exactly in the right place. And you may need to um, either pull that over so that it is in the right place, 
or delete the brush stroke and redo the, the, the brush stroke in the appropriate place now that the, um, the crop has been applied to a different part of the photograph. You can also go and drag that across and move the crop around, but it will apply, if we go over here again, it will apply everything you've done previously to the next photograph as well. So just keep that in mind if you're using uh, the brush tool or any of these filter tools and your cropping as well. All right, so I've reset all of these photographs. So I've removed the editing that I've done already. Um, and let's say I want to go back um, and let's say I wanted to do a black and white edit. But I wanted to make sure that everything I was doing here was being applied to all of these. So similar to what we did before with the sync button. But what you can actually do is apply the changes kind of in real time without just copying them over at the end of your first one. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to press shift and I'm going to click towards the end of this row. And I'm going to click this little light switch up. Um, to where it now says auto sync and that's what I am going to um, show you in terms of how to transfer edits over to um, a whole bunch of photos as well. So for this one I'm going to go black and white and you'll see that as I click over black and white and make a single change it's starting to apply them across everything and as with the other one it takes a little bit of time to sync um, and now I can just do my editing as I would um, normally on a single photo and it's going to start to apply everything across to every single photograph that I have selected. So same sort of thing here, um, just doing my normal basic flow, a little bit of sharpening and as well I'm going to bring the vignette in as well. Um, and so now you can see as I've gone about my editing process it's applied everything with this auto sync button selected across all of the shots like that. Um, so that's a really quick and easy way to sync your settings as you go. And you can select two, you can select five, you can select a hundred at a time. Obviously the, the more photographs you select, the harder Lightroom is gonna work. So it might slow your, um, your process down or your processing down a little bit, um, but your actual workflow will be a lot quicker. So I'm gonna reset all of these and you can see by having the auto sync on, it's reset everything at once. And now I'm going to show you how to use a preset. Um, so presets are found here on the left hand side, left hand um, top corner of the Lightroom develop module. Um, and I again, I'm going to go through and I'm going to create um, a setting. Let's say I wanted to do something a little desaturated. So I'm going to bring the vibrance down, a little bit of the saturation off. Um, but I'm going to go and do a couple other things here. Um, really up to you as to what it is that you want to do and that's probably about all just very quickly all right so that's a, a kind of a quite a harsh desaturated uh, kind of a dramatic look to this photograph and i want to now go and copy the the, the edits that i've done on this right hand side um, and create a predetermined setting so on the left hand side i'm finding presets if you open them up you can see there's a um, preset that I've used before or that I um, want to create in my black and white presets panel. All my presets I've used before and now under user presets, this is where this little plus button is going to come up. So if I want to select under user presets, I'm going to select this plus button and give it a name and call it D sat lion for instance. All right, so you can call it whatever you like. That stands for desaturated, and I know it's applied to a lion photograph. You can then again click on and off all the settings that you want to apply or not apply to your preset. I'm going to click Create. And under User Presets here, you'll see that that preset has popped up, Desat Lion. And now all I need to do is go and click across any one of these photographs that I want to apply that preset to, find my Desat Lion, and automatically those settings are going to be applied to this photograph. I can do a, a similar thing as we did before. I'm going to um, shift select and I'm going to click this little button down and I'm going to click synchronize, click the synchronize button and slowly but surely those photographs should start to resemble each other with the settings. If that uh, doesn't work nicely for you, um, you can just keep clicking onto your preset on your individual photographs 
do a flat line. Um, and maybe some of these you want to try something a little different. So I'm going to go my bright white and warm preset that I've created. A lot warmer, lots of white saturation. Then on one of these other ones I'm going to go desaturated again. So very um, low contrast. Um, and then you can go and play around with some of these other ones. Black and white high contrast. And you can see how easy it is to create your predetermined settings. Um, click the little plus button. Add it to your user presets or add it to... Um, a predetermined group of settings that you've created and you can then fly through your editing that way. Just keep clicking across these. So that really is the easy way to, to work through your workflow a lot faster with the previous button, uh, with the synchronize button and with the auto sync button as well. And hopefully that's going to help you to sit down and not feel disheartened that you've got a 100 photos to edit. Um, and it's going to give you a little bit more of a, a quick and easy process to use when you want to do a similar editing style to a whole bunch of photos. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're interested in some more editing tutorials, check out blog.londolozy.com for more.